Ms. Katrina G says, trust the process. Work your way through it. You got this. You're winning all year long. Yes, you're in control. So go ahead and trust the process. And it comes from Ms. Katrina G. So if you have love, remember, love conquers all. Love conquers all. It's everything. The total situation. You're going to win. Press your way through. You got this. Yes, because God is love. up YouTube it's your girl Miss Katrina G and I'm back with another video welcome 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 back to my YouTube channel where I am Miss Katrina G and we are the Love Jones family to those of you who are newly subscribed on this side of YouTube welcome to the family welcome to this side of YouTube where there's something for fun positivity and good vibes if you have not already joined your girl's YouTube channel go ahead and hit that blue join button so that you will be a part of my 2020 Christmas cash prize giveaway that is coming very very soon also don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and don't forget you must turn on your post notifications so you will miss none of the videos and the bangers coming your way each and every single day on this side of youtube and if you want a shout out you definitely need to hit that join button so guys i pray everyone is having a wonderful and blessed day my day is going well and first and foremost TJF thank God it is Friday we have um promo throughout the week work but it's Friday but anyways I'm not gonna hold you longer because we're gonna eat before me y'all we got Qdoba and it's hot Ooh, I heated it up so we're gonna get to this I have um the steak bowl it's supposed to be chicken but that's okay we'll talk about that later you know my beautiful lovely such caring chef Got me steak, it's supposed to be chicken, but that's fine. But I do have a steak burrito as well. And so we're gonna pray and we're gonna get into this video. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. I ask that you continue to bless this day, bless this meal, bless those who do not have a meal. Bless the Love Jones family, bless my family. We ask that this season be great, that you get the glory and the praise. Heavenly Father, we ask that you, I pray that no one will go lacking throughout this season. We ask that you touch hearts that are heavy and also those who feel labor burden in jesus name amen amen so let's see what we got let's see what's on the menu the menu this is the steak burrito i don't usually get a burrito but you girls like let me get a burrito today so this is a steak burrito and i have a lot of stuff in that and i'll show you that as i go so what are y'all doing on this friday what is your plan for the weekend if any, I know Christmas is really flying by. A lot of us had agreed on my video yesterday, my vlogging video, that Christmas is coming swiftly, y'all. It is really coming very, very fast. And so, yeah, it's here, y'all. Christmas has awaited itself. Let me make sure y'all can see all the goodies. So I'm seeing if I'm different on the monitor. I'm to pull that back. Okay, now y'all get a full, full picture. But anyways, um, my condolences go out to Debo, the actor, y'all. He has passed away. We pray for him as well as his family. Um, I pray for everyone who passed away so that their life, that they have given their life to Christ. Period. I'm a Christian, but my prayers go and sincere condolences go out to Debo and his family. So, um. We lost a lot of people in 2020. We Even D December is ready for 2020 to get out of here, y'all. December done flew by. I know one of you guys was mentioning. It is um, Vlogmas and my videos making it seem like <laughs> 2020 is fully over. I do need a fork. I need a fork. But it makes it seem like um, 2020 is flying by. And it is, y'all. It is definitely flying by. So, I also got a side of queso. I have a side of queso, y'all. This spray, sanitizer spray, does not leave an aftertaste on your food, by the way. It does not leave an aftertaste. So, that's good. So, I got black beans, brown rice, y'all. Mm. 
Babe, please get my guacamole and lettuce, please. Thank you. This thing is heavy, y'all. I don't know why I make them so heavy. You slamming the door, babe? On that video? Hmm? On your video? Mm-hmm. You want to keep this in the video? Mm-hmm. It's so fun. Thank you. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Mm hmm But 2020 has had some serious <laughs> stuff going on, y'all. I got my Black Lives Matter cut back. And I have the Hawaiian Punch, the blue, tropical blue punch. I gotta go to the store and get some more um, ice. I drink ice a lot around here. As you can see, she gone. She is gone. I need some sour cream. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? I wanna eat my food. But what is a lot of help. I'm grateful for him. But I can say for me, Although it has been some different things going on in 2020, God has truly been good to me in spite of because I personally can say as a child of God, I have not wanted for anything, you know, and we can get scared and all those good things can happen, but God has really provided for me. And I'm sure a lot of y'all can also testify the same thing. God has not um, left us nor forsaken us. I mean, things have been totally strange and different, but I have not gone without you guys. I promise you. Um, doing this YouTube thing is not cheap. <laughs> it is not cheap. It is very expensive when it comes to finances, your time, your talent, you know. And it's a business. So. You really have to do. A business plan. You should. You should do a business plan. As a YouTuber guys. And that way. You'll have a better. You know opportunity. To balance out your YouTube business. If you don't do it like that, then you will lack in some areas. And so it's good to do a business plan and, you know, map out your expenses for YouTube, all that stuff, because all of this is very pricey. Especially a mug banger. We spend money on food. Hey y'all, I got my sour cream. <clears throat> They did not put my sour cream on the thing. But like I was saying, if you are a YouTuber, a mukbanger, you need to map out. That's what got me um, able to budget my business, which is my YouTube channel. Because you replace actual meals that you're going to have anyways by being a mukbanger. But that doesn't mean your equipment or whatever. You need to invest in it. I invest in my channel. I solely invest in my YouTube channel. No, I don't have cameras and all that top notch stuff. That's fine, it will come. Because you don't want to, um, <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Let me thumbnail. You don't want to overspend. You want to be able to balance. Especially this year. 
you know, I've been a new YouTuber this year was pretty brutal. Mm. As I said, I see God's favor on me because I had opportunities that a lot of people just didn't have in spite of the uh, pandemic. Mm. This is so really uh, I still had collabs and all kind of stuff, you know. That helped me grow on my YouTube channel. But, and a lot of it, you know, YouTube hasn't been, they haven't been operating per usual because of the pandemic so a lot of their people been working well most of them pe their people been working from home mm. which means from what i see they work less because i started youtube when I'm, there was no pandemic but it had just came right after I started. But I watched it. I always watch YouTube. And it's like the views change. Everything has changed since case of it. Everybody got out of office. Not just for me, but for most of the YouTubers that I even watch, you know, there's some who are big and still maintaining, but you can tell their numbers aren't matching up. Mm. Mm -hmm. I miss my chicken, but the steak is actually good, y'all. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit of the hot sauce. The hot sauce. But I have the corn blend. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good, but I learned a lot in 2020. I'm just so thankful. And I'm looking forward to 2021. My prayers is that it'll be a better year, but I'm content with whatever state or condition that God has for me. <clears throat> and I just pray that he conditions me and he keeps me. Same thing with you guys. Mm -mm. <laughs> I pray that he conditions you and he keeps you in spite of the circumstances in the situation. That's how we all should think. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. Mm -hmm. My phone went off. Mm -hmm. Well, what is your best moment of 2020? Not the worst, because we know. I know, there has been some not so good moments for 2020. But let me know 
what was your best moment? Whether it's life, whether it's family, whether it's work, whether it's your children, your home life. What was the best moment for you in 2020? Hmm. I have so many, but outside of seeing my kids, you know, don't get to see them fully at church because we're not back in, but I was able to see them when I pop up, drop off stuff or whatever with them. So, my youth that I'm over at my church. But other than that, you know, I'm meeting Mr. Cryer, meeting Chill Walk. What was the best moment? One of my good moments. But, above all else, you already know what my best moment was. And, I was like, wait. I know we're living in our last days, y'all. But, no man knows the day or the hour when the world will end. <laughs> but I go to say it. When I met my girl B Love, that was the highlight. That was the highlight of my year. <laughs> you know, some things I don't care what nobody say. Get praising people. Yes. I ain't praising them. God gets the praise, but I honor people. And my pastor always teach me you do not have people do not have to be nice. And they don't have to be nice to you. But when they are nice, appreciate it. And so that was one of my biggest moments of 2020. Y'all was floating. I know I don't talk about it a lot, but I might do. But who cares? It's my platform, so why not? But that was my biggest moment for 2020. I was just like, wow. That, that just reassures you that you're doing something right on your channel. Um your business, even with networking, building relationships, you know, you don't have to date someone or even um, do something with someone to build a relationship with them. You could do that with someone or I'm just going to keep it real. You can do all those things with someone and you still don't have a relationship with them. But it's so important to uh, appreciate your good company, if that makes sense to you. Good company, not bad company. I'm grateful for the challenge or the lesson when it comes to the bad company, but appreciate the good company and the positive people, the influence, um, influencers or whoever that comes in your life, add to it. Appreciate it. Don't be such big-headed or ungrateful. They should have did this. No, take it for what it is. And be thankful for it because people don't have to be nice. And they do not have to be nice to me. They don't have to be nice to you. And so I'm just grateful for whatever happened in 2020. These videos are going to be like countdown to the new year. I know we're today will be the 18th day of December that you guys will see this video. So we count down, y'all. It's close. But I am just super thankful for the relationships that I built in 2020. Looking forward to where God is going to lead me in 2021. And as long as I put God first, everything will work out. I believe that. I trust that. I know that. God does not fall short of his word. <clears throat> and I will continue to tell a dying world that he lives. He lives. Because it's a silent night, a holy night. That's what I was going to talk about really quickly. I can just move this on forward. Get her on out the way. And shout out to my girl Rochelle Harrison. She said, Miss Katrina, I need you to put your lipstick on. So quickly, I want to shout out Miss Lady Luck. Hello, Miss Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining the Love Jones family. Also, the lovely Miss Consuela. Cohen, shout out to you, of course, Trina Hoskins, Tracy Ann Jackson. We got the lovely Stacy Wilson. We praying for you. Where you at, sis? 
And we have Jazzy, for sure, Ms. Glow Glow in the building, and several others who have joined your girl's YouTube channel. You are a part of my live giveaway. And again, you have until next, and Mimi, Miss Mimi, Miss Beautiful Mimi, of course. You have until next week, Monday, to sign up as a joint member of my YouTube channel. And you will be a part of my live giveaway. There will be three winners, which is a good chance that you can win because right now it's pretty slim, but it's growing. So put your bid in by joining your girls YouTube channel. Also, those who have joined during the Christmas holiday will automatically be a part of my New Year's giveaway, which is another giveaway. You'll be a part of my New Year's giveaway and you will have more than one raffle ticket. So you have more than one uh, possibility of winning and you can win twice. So not only will you win one cash prize, you can win two because you have more than one raffle ticket. With the Christmas, you have one raffle ticket and that's going to be that. So check out my community tab if you have any trouble trying to figure out how do I join or look at the description box down below. And it's important to keep promoting it. All these big companies promote stuff. This is a small little thing being a joint member. You know, it's very affordable. It's um, worth it because your girl, Miss Katrina G, works really hard for my Love Jones family. So, although y'all work really hard for me because y'all support me. Y'all like my videos. Y'all share them. Y'all watch them. So, in spite of it all, whether you join or not, I love me some. You yeah, boo boo, but just support your sister, you know, support a sister so I can do bigger and better things on this side of YouTube and I can continue to give back to my love Jones. But anyways, with that being said, silent night, silent night, we're leading up to the Christmas holiday and as a Christian, we celebrate Christ's birth and people say he wasn't born on Christmas, who cares, it's not about, it's not even about Christmas. It's not even about what day you celebrate Christmas. It's not about any of those things, presents or anything. That's just a plus. We celebrate, we remember, we are grateful for Christ coming down to die for the sins of this world. As flesh, as a baby. Coming off his throne, sitting high and mighty, unbothered, in our words, unbothered, and above all else, and above everyone else. <clears throat> came down in flesh as a baby born to die for the sins of this crazy world. Excuse me. Y'all can't tell me this world ain't crazy. Oh wait. It's crazy. It's a lot of craziness going on in our world. And so we thank God for that silent night, that holy night. All is calm. You breathe in and you breathe out and you're like, all oh, this calm. I think I was my college psychology. And I think it was, um, what is it called? I, I got like a B plus in that college class, psychology. But it was like aromatherapy. You breathe in, you breathe out. And you just kind of like visualize being on the beach. Visualize being in your favorite vacation place, like your favorite place to go to just relax, like in Hawaii, whether you've been there or not, just go out and kind of visualize being there, but aromatherapy, I think it was called. <clears throat> All this calm, everything around you is just being still, you're nagging kids, nagging husband or wife, boyfriend or girlfriend, your job, your boss. All is calm. All is bright. Like this. Look how bright the lights are. Period. Brown young virgin. Sister Mary. Sister Mary. Mother and child. Oh. Holy infant. Holy. Okay. Mother was 100% human. His father was 100% spirit. God spirit. Good spirit. He's God. Holy infant. So tender and mild. Let me see what else is on. <laughs> Let me see the rest of the words. <laughs> Holy and so tender. Heavenly host. Heavenly host. See 
Hallelujah. So they sing it, trumpets. Christ the Savior is born. We sing this in our choir too. Not this year, obviously. I don't have a choir right now. Because it's a shutdown. Christ. Christ the Savior. That's the temptation version. Is Beautiful, beautiful. So just remember, silent night, peace be still, in spite of it all, 2020 has thrown so much at you from different angles, ways we never would have thought of, ways I never would have imagined. 2021 is going to be your year. Stand on it and know it. Let's be silent, be holy, be calm. In a storm that you have and that you had, it too shall pass. It will pass. Continue to love God. Continue to love yourself and always love others. So that is my encouraging word for today, you guys. I love, love, love the Love Jones family. We are on our way up. We're going to take one step at a time. But God is so good. Also, Look out for my YouTube channel, Ms. Katrina G Vlogs. A lot of you guys have given me feedback about Vlogmas, and you love my vlogs. So, of course, you girls gotta do a second channel, Ms. Katrina G Vlogs. And it's up to you if you wanna watch or if you don't. But I don't wanna mess up the algorithm or um, the niche of my mukbang channel, which is this channel. So I'm going to do that for my Love Jones and make a vlog channel which is going to be pranks, my everyday lifestyle, maybe makeup. I'll throw everything on that one. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I will let you know when that channel is officially made. It will probably be this weekend. So stay tuned for that and I will be uploading. I want you guys to go run over there and subscribe. You ain't got to join that channel. Not yet. But go over there and subscribe as soon as, as soon as I let you know. And I will be uploading at the beginning of the year. Um, starting 2021. Because we're closing up vlogmas now. Calm down. But thank you guys so much for your continued support. I love you guys so, so much. And I want you guys to, like I said, stay calm. Be silent. Listen, be still. And be holy. <laughs> Strive. Ah, uh, my phone strive to be holy so again stay safe stay blessed please stay safe cut down those big parties no parties stay blessed check on someone let them know you love them i love you but god loves you more and i will see you in the next video bye guys happy holidays